guys, it's me, Danielle Denny Buttons, and I'm here today with my November coloring wrap up. Woohoo! As of right now, I have written down that I have finished 27 pages. I think I've counted wrong, but we'll find out. I'm also not going to get to show you every single one because I've been pre filming like a crazy lady for December, and I'm not going to show you the ones that I finished for all those videos because that's spoilers. So I will show you what I got. Also, I said that November was going to be Narcissist November in which I colored whatever I wanted, which basically meant Disney. And I think I did pretty good. I seem to have colored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight Disney things. And that's probably my best month for Disney specific in a while. So I'm pretty proud of that. But let us get into it. I'm going to show you all of the color by number first, then like color by number adjacent, non-color by number, and save Disney for last. So, let's go. Right now I'm filming, it's the 29th, so not too far in advance. Hopefully, I really do want to try to get three more pages done before the end of November though, because I am on track to finish 500 pages for the whole year, which kind of blows my mind. I'm really excited and proud. Um, Obviously the numbers don't actually mean anything, but that's a big accomplishment, I think. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, right into it. So first up is Party Patterns by Belba Family. Uh, also, as you can see, I have tabs, white tabs in some of these, and I'll just show you one of those. Uh, my last live stream that I did a few days ago, I set up my advent calendar for this year. So if you have been with my channel for a long time, you might have seen my advent calendar last year. I'm doing it again, which basically I picked, I think I picked 30 coloring pages from all of my Christmas books and I have tabbed them and the other half of the tab. So there is another post-it. No, every single time. I cannot say the difference between post-it and index card. If I ever have to talk about them, I always say post-it. There's the other half of the index card that has the same exact sticker and it is randomly spread throughout my advent calendar. So whenever I pull that half, I will have to color this page. So that's why some of these books, you might see extra tabs sticking out the top. But anyway, the page that I did that I can show you is the Thanksgiving page. So I think it's called Turkey Day. Uh, for the most part, I don't change the colors in these books. I Sometimes I probably should. If it's very obvious, sometimes I do. Actually, I now that I'm saying it, I did make these purple instead of more shades of blue. So like the little plate is purple, but I think it's supposed to be a pumpkin and I'm, I, it looks like an apple and an egg corn. So I'm happy to do another page in here. Where am I putting the pages when I'm done with them? I never think this through. You would think by now I would know what I was doing. I do not. But anyway, all right. This is a butterfly warning, Emily, a look away. But this is vintage tattoo designs, cross stitch style by Alice Mills Publishing, book number 10 in this series. And I did the final page in here, which is fly like butter. And it's the butterfly page. I almost always go back to front in these books. And I actually really like the colors in this one, even though it is a butterfly. And my best friend doesn't like butterflies, so I don't like butterflies. But anyway, it does look really good though. And I like that it was a very limited color palette and I love the name is Fly Like Butter because I love butter themed things, I know. Butter yellow is one of my favorite colors. It's a whole thing, I'm a weird lady. But that is that one and it's the first page I did in Vintage Tattoo Designs. Next up, I have a page in Stone Mosaics, book five, Christmas edition. And this is also by Belba Family, sorry. I did this one, I did this one for my review. So I think this should be up. I'm pretty sure I tried to do a flip through of this book, which I don't know why I do that when you can't really see anything, but I did it. So if you wanna check that out, you can do that. And this book has doubles. So it has a black image and, or a white image, then the black image or black background, I should say. I don't remember which order it goes in. Yeah, so this is the white background and this is the black background. There are, I think, 50 pages in here because of that. I am definitely loving the black background. So in the future, if they come out with both versions, I'm probably gonna lean towards the black background. They did also recently come out with a best of book in black background that was like a combo of the first four volumes into the black background, but I did not pick that up because I have all the first four volumes. So, but again, going forward, I might do that. So that's Stone Mosaic. I do plan on doing more in here 
in December. I just randomly picked two pages since you can't really tell what they are anyway. Next up is Color Questopia's Merry Christmas black background. Ugh, I'm so sorry about all of the glare. This is their new Christmas book. They came out with two this year. They came out with, I think they call it Large Print Christmas, which is a simpler book that has really large spaces. And they came out with this one. I also did a flip of this one. And I finished this Santa page. Oh, I did not finish it. I definitely missed, does that say blue flames? Oh no, 10. <laughs> I did not do the flames. So technically I'm fibbing but I finished it as much as it's getting finished. I think I did end up adjusting a tiny bit for these two. I don't know. I think that like near the end, I was just getting tired of details. So I was just like, everything will be red, but I'm not positive. I think it's super cute. And I mentioned this before, but I think their faces this year in this book are less creepy than last year. So if you thought the faces were creepy, you were not alone, but they're better now. <laughs> so or I think they are. And again, we're gonna be seeing this book again next month. Next is Christmas Ceramic Tiles by Prachi Duan Sachdeva. This is my first Prachi book and I love it. I've actually done a few, but I did one for a video. So we're just gonna see this one. This is the one I did for the flip and look at how cute it is. It's Santa's butt and he's stuck in the chimney and I love it a lot, so. It is all tile, sh tile style <laughs> and it is a square book, which I like. It has the same 21 color palette as the Sachin books. So if you only have one or the other, this palette is the same and it's just really cute. I like how all the pastels came out in this one. So there will be more done in there too. I have two little post-its sticking out of there. We'll have to see. Last year, I don't think I managed to finish all of my daily pages. But this year I've really uh, pre-filmed so much that I'm hoping I'll have even extra time to be filming, I mean coloring in December. So we'll see, fingers are crossed. And I also this year overall picked a lot more easy pages than I did last year because last year I just tried to color in every single Christmas book and some of those pages are really hard. So this is Such and Such Deva Stained Glass Christmas. Uh, I think I finished this at the end of October, but I wanted to show you this month because I had already filmed that video. But this is the Nutcracker page. Of course, that's the one I had to do first. As you can tell, I did not change colors for this one. For his book, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So we will see going forward. Again, he also has the 21 color palette. I always love looking at the back. He almost always has a white outline image and I just think it ends up looking cool because of whatever we colored on the other side. And like, just like, that is very decorative and fun looking, but I love the stained glass series. This paper is a little different from the rest of them and I can't really tell. I don't know if it's just the black background, but you might even be able to see it, that it's a little bit shinier than usual, but it's not like the premium paper. So I don't really know, but. That's a stained glass Christmas. He also has another Christmas book that came out. His paper, what is it called? Paper cut? Hold on, we're going to look at the list. Paper cut art, he has paper cut art came out and the Halloween one, I got the original Halloween one and there were no lines and it was not my favorite. And he very much listened to that feedback and he ended up coming out with no lines like the original and aligned version, but he said he was also coming out with a color by color and that will be his first color by color book. So he asked me if I wanted to review one and I said, please color by color. So that is on its way to me, but um, it's taking a little longer. So it'll be out sometime next week. And on the day I get it, I'm gonna double video because again, I have all December mostly pre-filmed. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit at the end of this video because why not? So, but that's coming. And he also still says, does he still say? Wait, it says Christmas mosaic art is coming soon too. So there's potentially even another one coming and I can't believe it. Um, I don't know, I don't know. So we'll see if that gets out or comes out, but I do love the pixel books. So we will see. 
that's stained glass. All right, next, this is Chibi Girls Volume 2. Hopefully, I got a flip up of this yesterday by Color Questopia Black Background, of course. And I didn't get Volume 1. I always thought it was cute, but I didn't think I would love it. But I got Volume 2, and this is adorable. And now I'm like sad I didn't get one. I might have to like wish list that for if I finish this. But I did do a page in here, and it was this page. And I just think it's so super cute. Basically, there's a bunch of chibi girls with different animals. And there's like dragons, uh, unicorns, seahorses, elephants, giraffes. And it's really cute. And this is, I like that it was a little bit of a limited palette. It's not super limited. Obviously, it's a whole rainbow. But I feel like in their older books, these grass would have been like four different colors of greens so i like that it's kind of pared down and simple and straightforward and adorable so i really like this page and i really like this book i don't know if we'll get much to it in december because of all the other christmas books i'm hoping to do but i'm excited to get to it in general so that is chibi girls volume two next up is mystery mosaics I actually finished a whip in here that has been a whip for months potentially Oh my goodness, has this been a whip for the entire year? Hold on, I need to cough. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is sore. Anyway, um, I don't know if that's true, but it might be true that this might have been a whip for like actual months because I know I was coloring in this book in January when my house was getting painted. But anyway, the page I ended up finishing, this is another bug, so if anyone is bug phobic, um, is this beetle and I really like it and I'm hoping to do a lot more in this book so I was just kind of going in order but also not really like I have this one's on that one's on that one's on and then in the back I have the wolf and the horse and I'm using my like Don Quixote mo markers and at least this brown bleeds, but the paper seems to be good enough that it's not going through the other side. It might be the slightest tinge yellow, but for color by number, I don't really mind. I don't love it, but I don't mind too much. I also did this one that I changed the color of the ball. I did this for a color and chat about my mom in January. It was a very special video to me. So her favorite color was purple. So I changed the ball to purple instead of red. But anyway, this is the one I finished this month. I don't know why I went on those other tangents and I like it. I think it's fun. The next one, I don't remember what it is. I think it's a birthday cake actually, if I remember from the back. So hopefully we'll continue to work in these. I keep saying that I wanna finish at least one of my mindware books so that I can order more. And that is still the process. If I ever finish one, I will allow myself another order cause I think they're up to book 18 now. And I have two random ones in the Mystery Mosaic series, and then I have two random color count ones, but I'm behind. So I order these directly from their website because they're usually like sales and stuff like that. Anyway, next I finished a page in Lines, Spots, and Dots Christmas. I also am working on finishing this one. So I just did this one, which is always hard to tell what it is, but it seems like it's like a bow and maybe some like holly and then some ornaments hanging down. So I just did this one last night actually. I just wanted to get a lines page done. So this is what I picked. I think I also, whoa, where did the little tabbies go? I have two tabbies in here. I'm gonna bring them to the top so we don't get lost. Oh, this one makes me laugh too. So I did this page and whatever this red is also yellowed so this whole page has very light yellow stripes i don't know if it's gonna come up on camera and it's very faint in person so as long as i do a dark color i'm sure i will be fine but it just made me kind of laugh that there's yellow stripes over this whole thing so that is line spots dots christmas one color book by kira shershnova i think she's trying to change her like name on her books from kira shershnova to just color by colors because she changed her website. So, and I think she changed her Instagram name. So, just something that I noticed. Next is One Color Relaxation Art Animal Stencils by Sun Life Drawing. I love this book. So I just did a page in here and it was this cat. 
I had to use red for my Patreon bingo, so I just picked one red marker and I just sat and watched YouTube and drew, did this cat. Sometimes I will do two to three colors, even though it's technically a one color book. Obviously you can do what you want, but I just stuck with the one this time and I like it. Looks good. I have a bunch done in here. Next, I have a page done in my phone book. That's what my friend Tola and I call it. She got this for me for my birthday. This is Sally Berry's 300 mandalas. It's crazy, expanded collection. I'm still a little bit salty because Amazon sent it to me in a box because it's so thick. And this is how it sits naturally. So my spine is pretty messed up. I was hoping it would flatten out. It hasn't really yet, but where is my post-it? Oh, I didn't finish this one. But I did finish that one. I don't know why there was no post-it. But I think I did this in some sort of video. So maybe you've already seen it. I just picked random colors. Actually, these are the colors I brought to Chicago in case I was doing one color pages and I didn't end up using them. And I don't really like it together, <laughs> but there it is. Then I was intending to just use the same four colors on another page because I was like, there's 300 in here. I can use the same color palette twice. Plus the vibe is always different because you'll use the different like um, percentages. I don't know if that's the right word uh, of the colors. So that is that one. It's crazy. I hope this will flatten out. I'm gonna pause for a noodle break. Okay, hopefully she's better. We're getting there. Next up is 50 Wintertime Mandalas by Camelia Andrakova. And I did this one for Patreon, and I, I love this page. I used the glitter gel pens from Dollar Tree. Can you see this sparkle? Holy cannoli. These are maybe the sparkliest gel pens that I have. Uh, I used every color in the pack, and I think it looks great. So, wowee. I have a few packs of these, and I am glad because these are shiny. <laughs> but these are almost to the point that they're so shiny that you can't see what's going on, right? So, love that. Yeah, glitter. I don't know if you can see it on my hand, but there's some. But that is that, 50 Wintertime Mandalas by Camellia and Chicago. Next up, I did this on video with Sam. This is Pop Culture Reimagined 2 by May Yu. And I did the SpongeBob page. Oh, good. I didn't end up coming back to update you. If you saw my video, you probably saw that. Ooh, I can get glitter on to SpongeBob. Perfect. My marker dried out real bad, and I was only like this much done with the background. And then I was getting streaks all over because it's such a hard background to get around. So there's like a big streak here, and a big streak here, and a big streak here. So what I ended up doing was I ended up using Emily's method that she taught me. And that is to use the, help, I've lost all words. That is to use the clear, what is it called? The blending, the clear blender marker, hello? Clear blender marker and basically just like make little circles all over and it kind of gives it texture and then evens out any mistakes like that. So hopefully you can see that now and it like looks like under the sea but I left everything else like it was in the video. I just did that afterwards. I personally can still see this big line and I can see a little one there, but I think it looks much, much better. And I'm not sure on camera if you can tell, like I think now, maybe since I pointed it out, but it's definitely less noticeable. So I love this page a whole ton. So that is my Spongerick Pat Bob. <laughs> All right, next up is Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. Everybody knows the Jade Summer debacle by now. Hopefully I will have the Lulu version linked down below. They're selling digitals on their Lulu site. And I think they're also selling hard copies, but you have to pay shipping, so we'll see. But this is Cute Christmas and I did three in here. There's, I did, this is my favorite. I had it in the front and we'll show you first. This is the snow globe page. I actually, if you saw my thankful for color tube swap, Meg gave me a thing of nail polish and it was this like super sparkle nail polish. And I, instead of using it for my nails, I do love my nails and I love nail polish. But instead of that, I thought immediately of a snow globe. So I actually used that nail polish on the whole background and it's still a little bit smells like nail polish, but it's definitely, 
dissipating so it's not as strong as it was but I thought it kind of like looked like snow falling or at least that was my intention so I love that a lot it's funny though because I originally swatched the nail polish on a pink post-it uh, so I didn't realize it was so pink tinted. So then when I started on here, I was like, oh no, but I still think it looks cute. I, the only thing I wish is that I had done my base either a different color completely or that I had just not done these black dots. I think that's a little bit too much. I don't know. Maybe if I had done a pink for this green, uh, something about the base is off to me, but I think this looks really good. So, and I really just love this page and I love this technique. So that was fun. Then I did this one. I think this I did for uh, Patreon. And I basically do the same thing for all of these pages because I love it. I do pastel background with my Jane Davenport pastels. Then I do a base of Tau Trees and then I'll add any glitter or whatever that I might need. Oh my goodness, lots of packages from Sammy. Are those all for us? Yep. Huh. Fun! Anyway, um... So for this one, I didn't really add too much extra. I just did some white gel pen outlining and some silver paint markers, which I don't know if it's gonna shine too much, but I just think it's cute. And I love just using a fun, bold background color. So, yeah, why not? And then finally, this was our buddy color of the month. It's the teddy bear drummer, super cute. And again, I did the exact same thing. So I did pastel background. I did gel, or not gel pen, uh, alcohol marker base. And then for this one, I added a bunch of gold metallic paint marker that hopefully it is shining, but this is all gold. There's gold accents all over. And I just think it's super cute. So I have two pages of this book picked for December. And this is, I love it. I love this book. I love this illustrator. And I'm gonna see what happens if she releases more. If I end up buying them or not, I don't know. I'm so hesitant because it's not on Amazon, but oh well, we'll see what happens. Next up, my last Patreon page. This is 50 Jungle Miniatures, and I did this one. So for our Patreon, we do bingo, and usually there's a free space in the middle, but since it was Narcissist November, I made the middle space be color a turtle. So of course, I had to also color a turtle. This is my turtle. I think this is super cute. I actually used, I have one pan pastel, like that's the brand. And I have one that I got for Christmas last year and I had never used it. And I intentionally got blue for like skies. So I figured I might as well give that a shot. So that's the whole background. Then again, I did tau trees and then accents on top. So I did um, a glaze gel pen for all the eyeballs. And then I used my sparkle pops for outlining stuff. Sorry, another doggy interruption. Anyway, yeah, glaze pen, sparkle pops. I don't usually use my sparkle pops. I usually hoard my sparkle pops, but I was like, this is an extra special like birthday narcissist page. So that is what I did. And I think it's super cute. And I need to color in more out of all my miniatures because they're my favorite books. So happy to do that. All right, we're up to Disney. So I did another bookmark and I don't like how it came out. So you'll have to let me out. But this is mini portraits. And again, my last time with the spiel, I will have all of these linked. Actually, not all of them because I have some um, Japanese ones. I will have all the French ones linked on the French website that I use. So mini portraits. I did Genie and I don't hate it, but I might hate it. Basically, I did him in blue first and I was like, okay, this is fun. I want to do something different for the background. So I just did the purple because I love purple. And I was like, all right, I'm, not, I'm doing okay. I like it. And then I did the orange and I hate the orange. I was trying to like bring in the color of his like bracelet and his little hair tie and his little earring, but um, that color was drying out. So I thought I was just gonna go one shade darker, but it looks much darker. Ugh, it's not my favorite. And then I ended up using the Sakura, what is it called, Sparkle Dust? This one, are you Sparkle Dust? Maybe, whatever this jelly roll is on his teeth. And then I did my iridescent medium paint along the outline. So I don't like, it's okay. I almost wish that I would do glaze on like his hair. I feel like his hair is getting lost. 
but this is it for now. We'll see. So that's my second one done in here so far. And I just think these are so cute and fun and simple to do. Well, sorry. Next is my, it's funny. This is my Spanish version of this. This is um, the Pixel Books and I'm pretty sure this is the Buddies copy. And I did Pain and Panic. I actually also finished this one in October, but didn't get to show you because October it was Villains Month. And Hercules is my favorite Disney animated movie. And I love Pain and Panic, so here we go. I have started to do the background and X method and then the characters themselves fully colored in. That has been fun for me. Um, and I just think it gives it like extra emphasis on the characters themselves. So that's what I did in there. Yeah. I don't know why that just happened. I apologize. <laughs> then I have a page done in this one. I don't know the names of these, but these are the Japanese versions of the Pixel Books. And this one is a, like a combo pack of the other ones. So I did this page, the Chip and Dale for Deb, her birthday, Miss Sweets Crafting Therapy. It was also in November and she did a hashtag that uh, you should color Chippendale. So I picked this one to do. And the Japanese books, like the background is left white. So I didn't do that. That's just what it actually was. So I ended up just coloring them solid since the background was white anyway. I used the Heathrone water-based markers that I got as a birthday gift and they're brush tips and I'm not great at them, but I think it's okay. Oh, also I'm a silly lady. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I, oh, it's worse on camera than in person. I like did half of it and then went to sleep and woke up the next day and switched colors by accident. So you can see the middle of his leg turns to this darker orange and this half I did in the lighter orange and this half I did in the darker. So I don't think it's too, too bad. Uh, again, it looks a little bit worse on camera than in person, but I just couldn't believe when I was done that I had done that, literally. Switch colors halfway through. Dale. Chip. No, Dale. <laughs> so that's that one. I also finally got a page done. And this one, again, I don't know the name of it. It is a Japanese book. And it's long, as you can see. And I had been wanting to get one done. And I did it. So November was Princess Month. So I did Cinderella. And for this one, I ended up doing her solid and the background in dot method. I was going to do... Um, X method but I was talking to Emily and we decided that it wouldn't look good doing the X method because like part of the charm of the page is like all these swirls around her and I think we would have lost that completely if I did the X method so I did this this way instead I really like it and she looks really cool and I kind of like that they didn't try to force eyes into her because sometimes in the pixel books, the eye pixels are literally just one square and it kind of looks freaky. So I'm glad they just left her like that. And hopefully I'll get more pages done in here soon. So there's that one. And there's some other examples of what's in here. And I ended up getting these all at a local bookstore to me, but they are on Amazon Japan. But that's where I got them. All right, now I got four pages done in these giant books, hooray. So this is Hiver, which means winter. This is one of the newest ones that just came out and I really wanted to get a page done in here. So I did this one. Aha, uh -huh. this is from 101 Dalmatians. And what I ended up doing is ignoring some of the color choices. Basically they wanted the both dogs to be entirely gray and it was supposed to be a darker gray and a lighter gray, but I ended up just doing, I guess a lighter gray and a darker gray. I ended up just doing white and one shade of gray because I just didn't think it was necessary. As you can see, there are tons of blues in this book. So I ended up using, they're on the desk, my friend for my birthday got me these six artist pit pens in just shades of blue and i think that's all i used on this page i just used four of these six to fill all that i might have even used five i see i used some there but i really like the pit pens and those are brush and for whatever reason i'm good at brushing this book because it helps me get even lines so who knows i don't know i think i might just be in general getting better we're giving it a try um but yeah so that's that one Hopefully we'll get more done in here in the winter, but if I don't in December, like January and February are still very wintry around. So 
I'm excited to get more done and eventually. We got time, we got our whole lives, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that one. Next up is Stitch Portraits. So, yeah, that's it, Stitch Portraits. This is kind of another one in there. This one's weird, I gotta tell you. Let me open to a completely blank page. All right, so you can kind of see the outlines. And I think, I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera. If you look over here, you can see Mowgli and Baloo. And if you look over here, you can see Peter Pan and Captain Hook. This page is actually Mowgli and Baloo. This page looks like it's Anna. I think it's Anna. I don't know. I don't really get it. I don't know if it was like an accidental misprint. Like they're trying to throw you off but it just is weird. It's not my favorite. Don't love it. I don't know. The the line work, but the pages are good. So this month I did Sebastian and I really love Sebastian. I accidentally didn't pick the best color for the bubbles. It was supposed to be a lighter blue. So I ended up putting iridescent medium over it. That's why this one looks so shiny. That's where the light's hitting it but that definitely helped to like change the tone of it. And this was just a fun page. And I love when it's just bold, not really any shading, straightforward. And also you can probably see that I definitely mixed in with my black a lot and wasn't being super, super careful, but I still think he looks great. So there he is. I really do like how the, the circles came out, the bubbles. We're down to our final two. Ooh, that stack's getting scary. All right, next is a trompe l'oeil. So this is the series that I was talking about. And I think this is what I did for my picture of the month. And basically it, when you first see an, a blank page, it looks like this. So it looks like you're gonna be coloring Tinkerbell, but then when you color it, it's actually Alice. So who did I color? I colored Ariel. I think that's why I did Sebastian too. So again, in, in November, I like to do princesses, so. There she is. Also the page before was actually Rapunzel, who is my other favorite princess. So I just thought this was extra perfect. And there we go. It's a fun time. So look up this video if you want to see specifically how I did that. And finally, oh, this is actually a really cute page. So I'm excited. This is Dogs and Puppies. They also have a cat book that I don't have, but I do have dogs and puppies. And I did the very first page in this book, which was my boy, Dingo. <laughs> so it's Goofy. And in French, they call him Dingo. So I, again, I think I used, what did I use? I don't know, probably just my Statlers. It looks like I might've used the pit pens on the background, but I don't know. This is a fun, bold one. Technically, I totally could have done this in alcohol marker since it's the first page and I don't need the introduction since that's not even English, but I didn't think of it until it was too late. So I just did this my normal way and I love him. He's so cute. I accidentally did black too far down. So I just went over it in white gel pen to kind of help it a little bit, I hope. And then I colored over the white gel pen in this. So I don't think it's too obvious. I don't even know if you would have noticed if I didn't point it out, but I pointed it out. So there we go. But that is it from me. I think I did pretty good. I'm hoping for a really good month next month. And what was I gonna say? All right, so starting tomorrow, every day I will have at least one new video. I say at least because if I get any review books, I'm literally gonna have a second video out some days. So that's really exciting. I hope you stick around. I ended up, my thumbnails are all the same. <laughs> so hopefully it's not confusing, but each one has a different title and has the date. But I hope you stick around. I'm very excited. I've been working, I've been like pre-filming since September and I'm looking forward to like kind of taking a break and I'm definitely gonna mention this later too, but I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube comparatively, not a full break, in January and February of next year. So I've kind of like went super hard, went crazy for December. And then in January and February, I think I'm gonna only upload a one video a week instead of my normal like three to four because one, burnout, and two, I'm going to Disney World. So like January, the end of January, I'm going to Disney World. And then February is going to be the Olympics. I'll still be in Disney World and like the Super Bowl, all this fun stuff that I am looking forward to and take up a lot of time. So I'm going to do one video a week in January and February. But 
don't be sad about that because you'll be able to catch up on all my December daily stuff. So stick around. And this is even more important than ever that you subscribe because I'm a fun time and hopefully you want to see all that content. If you made it all the way to the end, we're going to say Dingo after my boy Goofy. You can say Goofy if you want or Dingo either way. But like this video if you liked it. Comment down below anything you want to comment plus our secret word Dingo. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time and I'll be back again tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. So I thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.